going on you guys? So we're here today again with another short little video. I kind of just wanted to show you guys, I guess, the process of me changing out the oil on my car. As of right now, we got the car up on jack stand. And uh, we got the car up on jack stands. I got my filter cap off just to make sure it all drains nice and smoothly at the bottom. And then I'll take you guys underneath and I'll show you what's going on over there. As you guys can see, I got my oil draining. And uh, for uh, US 550 owners, we have this little tab here that you gotta remove. I believe it's a seven millimeter. You remove this tab and the filter is sitting right there. So it's easy for you to reach and unscrew. And then back there is the drain bolt. There's the bolt right there. You just unscrew that bolt. Once you get it loose enough, you pull it, let it all drain out. And that's pretty much it. At this point, we're gonna let all the oil drain out. Once it's done draining out, Go ahead and grab the filter, start unscrewing. Now you guys got to keep in mind there is going to be some oil in this filter. So uh, unscrew that off, get the oil out of there, and that's pretty much it. Slide in that new filter, and we got our new filter and and uh, oil over there. And basically what you do is you lube up, you lube up the filter on the ring, on the rubber seal, and then put it in here. And that's pretty much it. And you're ready to start filling. Of course, you want to put the, the bolt back into the plug and uh, plug it up. Make sure you get some cardboard down just so you don't get no oil all over the place. Call this house the Mustang House. House of GTs. Got pretty Layla. Little Enrique feet under there. Zombie getting his washed up. Mine right over there. Hey, baby. Right, guys so we're getting the last couple drips out sorry for it being so loud I got my boy Kevin over there working on zombies car washing it up and then mine's gonna get washed up after this so I'm kind of hurrying up and wanting to get this done real quick but basically we're dripping now so we're pretty good now I'm just gonna come around and put my, my bolt back in there you go put my bolt back in now this you don't want to tighten it too hard I mean you want to put a ratchet on it and get a couple snug turns on it but you don't gotta torque it down or anything too crazy so I'm gonna do that and then I'm gonna wipe this off just clean it up real quick and then I'm gonna hit this filter like I said earlier and uh, I'll show you guys that once I get there all right so you got your new filter here this is what I was talking about this is basically just the rubber grommet that basically keeps any oil from leaking out from the transmission itself so you want to get some of your old oil it's all right just a little bit just to lube this up a little Clean up around the filter area, all the area underneath, and just start screwing it back on. And that's it. All right, guys. Just for those of you that are curious on how it looks without the filter, there you go. I already grabbed a napkin and just wiped around it. So that's what it, you know, just to show you guys what it looks like where the filter goes in place. So like I said, all I'm going to do now is grab the filter, start screwing it on, and that'll be it. Make sure you guys clean up here, get this all nice and clean, and we'll be good. Race car detailing problems right here. Getting a sick ass car wash on that side. At the same time, like, why are you doing the oil change? That's what I'm talking about. Alright, you guys, so we're at the point where all we gotta do is fill up the oil. But before I use this for the oil, before I use my funnel for the oil, I'm gonna go ahead and top off on my radiator coolant. As you can see, it's kinda low. What I'm using is Mortarcraft or Ford's own Mortarcraft Orange Concentrate Anti Freeze. You gotta do a 50 50 mix of this. I got this whole gallon down to about halfway already and then I just topped it off with water so I'm already pre-mixed I'm just gonna top off the coolant reservoir and then move on to the oil Professional. Hit us up if you want oil change done quicker than 15 minutes. You might get oil all over your driveway, but don't worry about that. You got gasoline, pick that up. But you're buying the gasoline too. Do it for Dale. Yeah. Alright, now that the car is running, you just want to look up underneath real quick, make sure nothing's fucking splurging out of the filter or the plug. If everything looks good, then you're good. All I got to do now is put up that little bolt that holds the flap door to close it all off. That's it. Alright you guys, so we got mine getting all nice and cleaned up right now. 
We're going to go ahead and move on to Simo's car. What we're going to be doing on his is we're going to be doing a transmission fluid flush and change out, I guess, if you want to call it. All right, guys, so we're under the car. Uh, I'm trying to show you guys, but it's kind of tight. We aren't, we're on jack stands, but if you're looking at your drain plug for your engine oil, move back, transmission, transmission, and then that right there is going to be your drain. And actually, funny enough, it says right there, drain. And then, if you look to the side of it, this first black one here, that's going to be your fill. And again, it's actually pretty funny. Up above it, it actually does say fill. All right, guys, just a little tip. So we have this socket, 5 sixteenths for the bottom, and it works fine for the drain plug. Point out the drain plug, Simo. It works fine for that one right there, just because it's wide in the open. But All right, guys, so the fill, this one, was freaking on there so tight. And our tool that we were using for the socket over there, it wouldn't fit in between here. It was just too big, and we didn't have this one in our little set. So we had to run out and get one. Fit on there just nice. Just right. Oh, let's see if I can get it real quick. Alright, so you see if that one fits in there just fine. But the screw itself was still so tight, I had to get a wrench. Do that number, and use the wrench itself as leverage to pop it up. Now it's loose. So now we're going to go ahead and hit the drain next and start draining it out. And then once we get this plug off, we're going to go ahead and pull that one all the way off and it'll all drain out. Just a couple pro tips there. Socket will work here. You need Allen wrench for that one. Alright, so we got the fill plug off already. Here is the drain one. Clean it up a little bit. Go ahead and put the drain plug back on. And then set up our little pump and transmission fluid. Ooh, start filling her up. Three quarts. Alright, so there is the mechanism. Just Or the pump, I should say. The hydraulic pump. You put it over. We put it on top of... Oh shit, it's already coming out. They just run the hose up there to the hole. It's kind of hard to show you guys what's going under the car, but... You run the hose up to the fill point. Make sure your plug is already in, which ours is. You start pumping that bitch in. So far, it feels pretty good. I feel that on my car too. I always feel it like going into like third. I feel. I feel like when I get into third, I hear like a. So it's hard to explain. It's, it's more like you feel it. Yeah. You, you feel in like the. Like a vibration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. It's so. like not a bad vibration, but just something in between your shifting. But right now it's just smooth. It engages. It actually goes into gear without so much thrust. Yeah, let's fucking rage. Is that gonna be in the video? It can. <laughs> I get a little camera shot from time to time. Is that what it is? Nah. There's a hoot out right there though. Where? Oh, uh, fuck.
Third or fourth? Shifting fuel after the trans change out. Like an automatic car. Yeah, there you go. Get it done. Mine's next. Get her done. So what do you think? That we just fucking just smashed, smashed right now. through those fucking we threw gears. All the bro. gears. All the gears are good. Yeah. Hey, okay. Yeah, I will say though, this motherfucker is the one that's fucking taught me at like how to drive my shit. Like he taught I don't know how to drive my shit nowhere near as good as this fucking guy, but this fool gets down and he, he gave me a little tricks and whatnot. But yeah, man, I would say, you know what, we we're talking about it. I think what you should do, especially if you have an MT82 car, is I if I could go back, I'd probably say break in miles, like going through your break in miles, like the engine break in, which I'm not too sure what it is, maybe a couple thousand miles, and switch it out, dude, because I think we both agreed that since day one, that clunk is in the transmission since day one. That, right. that clunk and that roughness is there since you get the car. So I would say swapping that out, dude, hey, I even felt it myself. It feels a lot smoother. So I think at the end of the day, we're gonna say, yeah, go ahead and fucking switch out that transmission fluid. It's gonna make a huge difference. Yeah, because I was driving mine beforehand and I noticed there's clunking. I'm like, I know it's not my fucking driving. I know I have my foot all the way to the ground and I still hear notchiness. Change, change out the fluids. Gone. So there you go, you guys. Just a quick little video. Oil change on my car. Transmission fluid change on his car. He also sprayed down his brakes with that lubricant, and the squeaking's gone too. So that's a plus. Pretty much a quick little maintenance day. And I mean, fuck, dude. He spent maybe a hundred bucks. Nah. Well, I spent I spent sixty bucks on oil and filter, and that's full synthetic mobile one. I spent 40, 45 bucks. Forty five bucks. I mean, fuck. How much do you go and pay for a full service like that at a dealership? You know what I mean? It's not too hard to do. I will just say, tip, go into it with all the tools you need. Go buy all your tools beforehand. Make sure you got everything you need to get the job done. And do it. I mean, I think you'll be in and out in what? Maybe two hours at the most, maybe? First time, maybe two hours. Second yeah, first time. time, maybe two hours. Second time, hour, hour and a half. You just got to know what you're doing and go into it kind of with the, with the guidance of where you're going to go and what you're going to remove, what you're going to plug up, whatnot, and change out. So... Fuck, not a bad day, dude. Put in some work. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe, share. Peace.